back with Arrow. Um, and I think one of the things I wanted to make a point of was um, we're doing this in the same spot. Um, day in and day out uh, when Ben's filming me we're doing it I've been working with her at night here um, been putting a few stories on her Instagram and <clears throat> um, even some posts but this is the spot literally um, the same very close to the same spot it's just our driveway and I use it because a couple things the gravel makes it a lot easier for her to focus I've been I've been starting to work with her um, just constantly in the heel position even in, in on the grass and when i first got her i couldn't because she just she just fooled around all the time um, zero attention uh, and focus on me she was messing around with the ground she even to the point where she would do it with gravel when she first started here um, she's gotten so much better um, and and but i go to the same spot because i do think that location is really important to these dogs um, as far as their confidence and when you're teaching them something, you have they have to have that level of confidence in order for them to truly learn it. So I'm gonna go to the same spots. I'm not gonna constantly be mixing it up. Now, what I am doing is, that's mixing things up all the time, is the consistency factor with her. Um, I demand and require her to be in good heel position a lot of times throughout the day. She just struggles in certain spots. She does very well here. Um, it's because here she's gotten comfortable and the habits have become stronger than the distractions. Um, she knows what she's supposed to do because I tell her she's good when she does it. That was really good when she laid down. Um, she's d been doing that the last few nights where she just, instead of laying, around to f laying down to fool around, she lays down because she goes, I'm gonna be here a while. Patience, it, we're developing constantly with her. I bring her with me a lot of places throughout the day. I have the luxury of doing that with different dogs. Um, and I look at it like it's constantly training. They're always learning, so I'm always training, and that's the mindset that I take. So whenever we're doing stuff, she's not allowed to just go run around and mess with stuff, because that is a habit that will form and be real hard to get rid of. And then when I ask her to start doing something different, it's gonna be tough on her. Uh, it's no different than that kennel. It's the, the reason she doesn't like the kennel is she was never asked to be in it. Uh, when she was probably asked to be in it, she threw a fit and, oh, you know, I don't think their owners realize her owners realized how important it was that not to give in um, so when she starts messing I correct um, and it doesn't have to be hard it doesn't have to be much but this is perfect so we're back in the same spot the other reason is that we picked it is because in the morning it's in the shade um, it's 10 degrees cooler than it would be in the Sun right now so that's part of the reason why we're here too today what I'm gonna work on is just the same stuff extremely boring training these puppies is extremely boring if you look at it from an aspect of lots of stuff uh, it's a lot it's 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 very few things and a lot of it um, that's how we form the habits so heel work is gonna be really important to her being able to touch her like this and not have her get mouthy she was getting mouthy when we first got her um, we're not seeing that I am gonna show you so we're gonna we're gonna work on the the, the heel work our right hand turns she's really really quite good at um, if she's if she legs behind I'll pick up the pace um, I got the adjustable leader I'm gonna show you how we use that because I'm gonna do a little bit of um, after we're done here and this is gonna be real short um, I'm going to show you a little bit of retrieving stuff with her that I started. Um, very simple stuff. She's not a super natural retriever. I've got a little black lab puppy that we're just starting some training videos with, um, a, a whole new video series with her, and she's real natural retrieve. She picks stuff up and brings it back to me constantly. She's not so much. She does like chasing it. Um, she does like picking stuff up. She doesn't like bringing it back always. Um, so I gotta, I gotta have her understand that this isn't a game of keep away. Um, I'm gonna show you how we do that. That before we put her back up this is that habit that we just don't like it's not like you're getting into stuff chewing biting uh -uh. so if she's gonna lay down and do that no nope, you're not gonna lay down so now the other thing to do that I'm gonna work on here is I started turning into her I want you to watch her back feet I want to watch her position it, we need to get her to start bending her and leading with her hindquarters to make that turn instead of bending out and being real awkward and out of position. All this stuff is stuff that we talk about in our heel work training. Um, we did a complete, we did a whole video on heel work training. It's just on heel work and it, it's free with the adjustable leader. When you get the leash, you get this video with it. It's all we talk about is the right hand turn, the left hand turn, and the heel position and, and the timing and the importance of the timing 
Uh, when it, now you can tell too, the other thing that you can tell is this is about her attention span. So I better move her and reset her. Sit. And that kind of resets a clock. So you gotta, you gotta start to gauge um, and get an understanding of how long can your dog focus. That was too long. And then she started to fade on me. So all I do is I don't entertain her with something. I just take three steps and tell her to sit again. And it basically restarts the attention um, with her in, in an environment like this. So let's start her off with healing. We're always gonna start with her name, get her attention. I'm always gonna start off with, her, with the close leg turn her come on come on come on so it's easy for her to get this feel for where I'm at arrow arrow heel all I need is uh, I need her to acknowledge it that little bit of a lift of the head up was enough I want you to notice the heel position or the lead position loose lead so when I do have to correct I can get something out of it valuable I want it zero pressure when she's doing it right good good girl so right hand turns we give her the chance and she makes it with us good come on she's a little behind so I'm gonna pick up my pace come on come on good you can just see her little gait pick up I really like the way these dogs move they almost prance we stop she stops good very good she's naturally sitting because we've told her to sit over and over and over and it's become a habit of when we stop we sit I'll start to build in the whistle now and I want them to stop on the whistle because at a distance I want to be able to stop these dogs on a whistle arrow heel there's the attention she turns looks we go loose lead good I'm gonna pick my pace up come on come on come on I'm gonna stop Nice, I didn't do it on purpose. I kicked a little piece of gravel, distraction. She looks at it, but the sit whistle was strong enough to go, oop, I gotta sit. Very good. Arrow, heel. Come on, come on. Good, come on. Good. Arrow, heel. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good, come on. Come on. Good. Good. Very good. Now I'm gonna, so we kind of like, that That also is kind of like her warming up, her stretching out a little bit. She realizes I gotta think. Uh, now I'm gonna throw a curveball at her, turning into her. I also think she's gonna be expecting a right hand turn. That's what we've been doing. I'm gonna turn into her. Watch the bend in her body. A lot of times it will bend out. It'll bend this way when I turn, and her hind quarter ends up going that way because her body turns this way. I need her hind quarter to go this way and lead backwards. It's tricky. Uh, it's footwork. Um, she, it's not not normal for them to walk backwards with their hind quarters. Ah, ah, come on, come on. Good. Now, I corrected her resting and relaxing. God, I love that. That's the best because nor, uh, not too long ago, that wouldn't have happened. There's no way she's just sitting still to the point where she goes, this is a cultural thing. We've, put, we've started to change her culture to understand that we just don't do a lot of fancy, exciting things around here. We're pretty laid back. But I'll tell you, when we do decide to do some fun things, she'll she'll be able to kind of turn that switch on. That's a thing that people always say, oh, that's your breed and your dog. That's the breed and your dog, these little dogs that I have. No, that's our culture. She's not the breed of dog that I normally train. She does the exact same thing. Arrow, arrow, heel. Lead off, I saw that little ear twitch. It wasn't much, heel. Now we're gonna turn into her. Come on, come on, come on. See how the bend, she's confused and her bend is off. Good, good, good. Bend is off, her front wants to go that way. We want it this way, good. There, a little back end. Look at the little back end backing up. She's really confused, so I'm gonna go slow. Good, good, good. Keep moving, keep her moving. Don't let her lock up. Don't let her lock the, lock the brakes up. So I'm gonna start over, heel. Real confusing to her. This kind of ends up. Good, 
Good. 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 Very good. There's a little back end. Good. Keep going. Keep going. And get in there. Very good. She's confused as all hell right now. What I'm looking for is these back feet to go backwards. Her bend is this way. I need it to go this way. She hasn't bent the right way yet, but she is engaging those back wheels. Good. Heel. Good. Good. I don't want to end until she gets in position. Nope, you can't sit. You can't sit. You can't check out. That's a way for her to there. Good. The reason I let her get out of it was <clears throat> instead of her just backing straight up, she decided to go get to the side a little bit. And so she backed up and she shifted to the side. Now her bend wasn't right yet, and that's okay. Um, I'm gonna have to help her feel that. But she finished, instead of here, she was here. And her position needs to be here. She's gonna start to understand that, just scoot into that position and then I'm back. Good. But right now, this is, this is gonna be tiring to her mentally because she's really being asked to think a lot. Arrow, arrow heel. Good. We're gonna do one that she knows. Good, come on, come on, good. Good, do one that she knows. Good, no correction needed. Come on, come on, little, little tap there. Now we're gonna turn into her. Good, look at there, good. Ah, 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 ah. There you go. Good dog. It's all, right now, all she's, all I'm trying to get her to do is understand be in the right position. How she gets there isn't as important to me. I'd love to see her. I should bring out one of my other dogs and just show you the, the footwork part. That's what we're looking to get. Um, and maybe I'll do that, Ben. We'll just grab a dog quick to do it after. Yeah, we'll do that after. But I wanna show you the, the footwork that we're looking for. It's to get the right bend in the body and have them back into position real heel, really smoothly. There, very good. Now, that was great. Um, tot, 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 about four, four turns, four quarter turns to get there. And she got there. She didn't quite get there exactly how I would want her to, but it was way better than it was to start out with and she didn't quit. That uh, earlier on when she sat down, that was, I'm done, I quit. Her move used to be lay down on my belly uh, or lay down on my back, someone will rub my belly. She had all these little tricks where she, where she realized I can get out of this. I can be done with this if I want. No, I won't allow that. I, I read right through her when she does that. And then, so what do I do? I don't have to be mean to her. I'm not using force. Um, I used to put a little bit of pressure at times, but I'll never put a collar on a dog, ever. Shock collar? No, I don't use them. Um, I just think that these dogs want to make me happy. They just don't understand why I'm not. Why They don't understand what I want exactly. So, heel. So, what I am going to do is figure out a better way to teach them. Sit. Sit. Good. Distraction of a car coming in and these are perfect everyday scenarios, real world stuff that gets in the way. Yesterday when we were doing it, had some of the guys coming in. So these are all scenarios where um, we see this training with a little bit of a distraction, but it's at a long distance. That car's a long ways away and we work through it. If we were right next to it, it'd be a lot, lot harder. So eventually we gotta be able to have this habit be strong enough that we can do it right next to the distraction. But man, that all just takes time. But really some nice progress out of her. Um, we've only got a few more days with her. Um, and then I hope that our journey can kind of continues uh, from a distance with her helping them train her, helping her owners train her. Um, but we are going to do some tracking yet with her. It's, it's only midweek and we're going to be doing some tracking here towards the end of the week. Um, 
I was gonna show you some little retrieving stuff. I don't think now is the right time to do it. Too much for her. Um, she did such a nice job. Come on. She did such a nice job. I don't wanna end this session with something that's overwhelming mentally maybe overwhelming from a timeliness standpoint. It's gone a long while. Um, right now, the best thing for her is to take what she just learned. She's already, she ate this morning already. Now put her up and let her think about it, especially because she has such a hard time in that kennel. Uh, this will help her settle into the kennel because I bet you she's tired right now. Um, she had to think a lot. We didn't walk more than 50 yards total, but she's more tired now than she would have been if she ran 500 yards down and back just mindlessly, just running. That just is physical energy. And she does need to burn some physical energy, um, but mental stimulation to me is 10 times as valuable. Um, and also wears them out, I think equally or more so uh, than the physical part. So when you can combine the two, then you got something. Good girl.